Okay, so uh, hello people. Um, today I'm at uh, the Hanbury Arms in Pontypool because uh, I've read a lot of stories about this place and people have asked me to come here a lot, you know, for people in the nearby area. Um, I wasn't going to come here, but being on lockdown, as I said before, there's not many places I can go and visit, you know, but it's, I'm just doing the local area until this ends. Well, this is the uh, Hanbury Arms pub and there is a few rumours about the place. But before I get into the investigation, I want to tell you um, a little bit of stuff. There'll be a lot of traffic in this video, so I'm going to try and stand behind the building, as you can hear it now, with traffic we're going past. I do not want to get that in the video at any point. Um, I am here alone, um, because of lockdown. But, hopefully, sooner or later, we can get James back into the investigations. Anyway, let's just get into it. Hey, as you can see, the car's going past. I'm going to try and stand towards the back so you can hear my voice more. Um, hold on, I'm trying to see if it's a place behind there I can stand or not. Right, this is the only place I, I, I can stand by without actually picking up any traffic as loud as I would in other areas. Now, I did try ringing the pub a few months back. Um, but two months ago, I tried ringing them, tried thinking if I could come here, do an investigation. But, turns out, that would never be happening, I can't actually go inside the pub. It's due to the fact nobody's actually running it at the moment, it's all undergoing um, some sort of uh, development and all that, and I was trying to sell it as well. So uh, I won't be going inside the pub. Um, I did try and find out if I could, but as I just said, you know, that's obviously too hard at the moment. Um, but I've always been the story about the place, and it is uh, quite creepy. Um, it's supposed to be a Two spirits are here in this building, two spirits. I'm going to show you the front of it though, just so you can see what it looks like. So as you can see, big building. Well, not that big, but you know, big, big pub. Now there is people living on the top, as you can see, because there's a light on up there. Um, but yeah. The Hanbury Bar and Lounge. Right, so about this place is. So the story about this place is the, that apparently there's a ghost of a girl in there and a ghost. I'm not sure what the other ghost is, but I, I read it's a girl in there anyway. And uh, the story is, is that. Um, you can get cold when you're in the pub and uh, like this was a rumour, I'm not confirming it, that's why I'm not going to ask any questions related to this on the spirit box later, but apparently um, people used to get hanged here. Now, I've heard a few rumours about that, but I haven't saw any actual, you know, um, confirmations of that on, on the internet. I haven't saw any proper websites, like, you know, for example, BBC or Cymru Wales actually confirming that. I don't want to be here asking those questions if I can't find any related proof that that actually happened, you see what I mean? You know, that's just quite, it's quite rude to do and do. So I'm only here to speak to the spirits that are rumoured to be here, such as the girl, and why the people will get cold in the pub, why uh, glasses will move and stuff. So that's what I'm here to find out about, you know. I'm not going to go on and ask any questions about if it used to be a place that people would be hanged, due to the fact that I can't find any actual evidence of that. You know, that's just completely going off topic if I do. So I'm not going to do that at all. Um, I'm only here to communicate with the spirits who are rumoured to make people go cold. And as I said, there's going to be two spirits here, a little girl and this other spirit as well. But I'm not sure who that is. So maybe we can find out. Uh, I'm not sure what that would be, but there, is that a door or something? No? Strange. There's another small door down by here. Oh my. I can see where they're selling it. It's not even a nice building to drive, is it? Um, right. You know, spirit box out, and then we'll get started on the investigation. Right, so the spirit box is out and ready to be used any moment now. 
What I will say is it is freezing cold today. I'm out here and it's, oh, my hands are freezing. I, I'm gonna get a hypothermia if this continues. Um, probably not. Um, but anyway, uh, is, is that another door? Hold on. Let me see, isn't it? Oh, it is. You probably only open it from the inside, as you, as you can see. It's like there's no handle on the outside. Guys, I'm not sure what just happened. My hand, it felt like somebody just touched me. My imagination. All right, let's see. Very small doors, very small. Um, go on, sir. Right, Sorry about that. Somebody going to pass on the bike. Um, yeah, well, I thought somebody just touched my hand then. I've got my door. I thought I suddenly grabbed my hand. It's probably because I'm that cold, it's just uh, I have my hand going cold and imagining stuff. Right, boy, well, uh, let's get a spirit box out. That's why you saw me jump a little then, guys. I thought somebody grabbed my hand. Right, well, it's a bit box. Let's find out what we can find out because I'm, I'm trying to find out if this little girl is here or who the other spirit is and why people get cold. Um, and I hope they don't grab my hand again. I got this in my hand. Twenty spirits I'm communicating with here today. I want to let you know you have no right to harm me, attach yourself to me, or um, any of my team. I know they're not here, guys, but in case there's any spirits who may have come from other investigations who might know my team. And uh, you also have no right to attach yourself to any of my equipment. Is that understood? Is that understood? No? No? A little girl just said no. A little girl. I'm going to ask you one more time. Is that understood? You're not allowed to attach yourself to me or any of my equipment. Is that understood? Is it understood? Yes or no? Would you answer my question? Is that understood? Yeah. Somebody said yes. Fine. Um, is, is there a little girl who uh, resides at this pub here? I think, I think someone just said no. Is there a little girl resides at this pub here? Yeah? What's her name? Corey? No, that's a man's name. What's the girl's name? What's the girl's name? What's the girl's name? Do you mind telling me that? What's her name? Yeah, I'm on about the girl. What's her name? Anne? Did you say Anne? It's hard to understand with all the traffic guys, seriously. Did you just say Anne? Right guys, I'm going to wait two minutes because I can't understand it. I don't know... If it, is a little girl there or not? But I can't seem to think there is. Nobody said... Yes, I think I think someone said yes, but before that, a man said no. Then I answered my questions properly. Now I, I don't know what's going on really. It could be anything really. Right, right, right. Now at this point, I'm going to say is I'm going to say it probably wasn't anywhere where somebody had died, because I'm not picking anything up, guys. Honestly, nothing's being picked up. Picking a few odd spirits up here and there, but they're not exactly answering any questions related to this building or any questions related to why people, people got cold um, when they go into the pub, why people would see their glasses moving or their glasses dropping or whatever. It doesn't make sense. I'm going you know, to try to find a little bit more about, the, about it and uh, just, wait, just, just wait two minutes. You know, it's uh, really cold out. 
and then let my hand warm up a bit and then we'll get a spit box back out and see what else we can find out. That's the plan. Right, okay, let's get started again. Let's get started again. Right. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. Is there any spirits here who would like to communicate with me? I'll try one more time. Is there any spirits here who would like to communicate with me? Yeah? Yes? Yes, yes, okay. okay. So, so we clearly got a yes. Okay, could you tell me your name, please? Your name? Your name? Mel? Mel, Mel, I think it said Mel. I think it said Mel. Is, is your name Mel? Tuck? Tucker? Is your, is your name Tucker? I'm not sure if that's a get help or get out. But I am out, I'm not in the building, so I'll probably say get help. No? Carl? Who's Carl? Who's Carl? You're going to answer my question, please. Who is Carl? Who is Carl? I don't know whether that's the other spirit's name, because obviously, as I say, there was two spirits in this building, it's supposed to be. Um, you see, guys, if you search the building up, hold on a minute, right? If you actually uh, search the building up, you actually can't find much about the place. That's why I'm kind of confused. Um, people will say it's haunted, people will say, you know, I mean, there's plenty of rumours out there that obviously um, people would uh, clearly get uh, hanged here. But how could you believe inf information like that? If you, like, my hand is freezing, it feels like it's cutting right now. That's going in my pocket. <gasps> right, well apparently guys, um, it's rumoured that uh, people did get hanged there, but there's no information to actually back that up right now. I can't find any of that information. Um, you know, there's no websites to actually back that up. Um, if it was on BBC, like, like I said, I could probably prove that, but, you know, there's nothing that I can find that uh, states it. Um, I, I only saw one site, and that did claim that um, a worker here who was working in the pub, he claimed that a glass smashed, and uh, he said it fell on the floor right in front of him, but there's no, apart from that, there's hardly any other information to find. Um, you know, guys, I wish I could go somewhere more haunted than this, I, I really do, but it's really hard a lot then, it really, really is, you know, you, if you're living in a different country then you don't understand how hard it is in, in the UK because you're literally stuck in your in your area, you can't grow out of it, and if you are out of it recording, police can find you, they can actually arrest you for it, that's how far it's come over here, um, you know, they can arrest you, check your £200 fine, and I can't afford to pay that guys, I really can't, it's, uh, it's quite a shock to be honest, but I ain't hardly getting anything from this building whatsoever. Absolutely nothing. Um, so, yeah, no. Um, here's something I, want, I quickly, quickly want to show you before I do leave. So uh, I'm just going to show you that before I do leave. Make the video a little bit longer for you guys to watch and also make you excited for a future video. Um, because there's a location nearby that I'm going to explore um, and it is a pretty good location um, so yeah let's go show you that very quickly <laughs> so guys 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 um, sorry if it ended that lo location then guys I just won't get much from it I don't believe that is a haunted location whatsoever uh, but this is um, well I'm not sure if it's haunted but uh, there's going to be a bit of activity here it's a abandoned church as you, as you can see um, now there is a way in, there is, but I'm not going to be going in there because it's too dangerous. Um, however guys, I wouldn't exactly rule it out. If somebody did come here, 
with me, I'm not too sure. I probably would go in. Um, but at the moment, there's no plans for that because uh, it's too dangerous. I mean, look at it. But there is a way in because obviously, I will tell you guys now, there was another YouTuber who came here. Um, I don't think he's actually from the area, but he did come here because he thought it was an interesting location. Paranormal um, location for him. He's a paranormal channel, I, I think. Uh, he did come to this church and he did go in through the entrance back there. Um, I would walk back there, back there to show you it, but uh, as I said, it's too dangerous. Um, you've got to climb underneath this thing and uh, I won't be doing that on my own in case something was to go wrong or in case somebody was in there. Um, something could terribly go wrong. And obviously, I don't want to be going back there in case it's uh, too dangerous to go in. Exactly. So you always got to study the things before you do. Um, I mean, look at it, guys. This is a abandoned place and uh, as I said that guy did come here because he said it was was that already there or please yeah but the guy came here because he said it was a very haunted location he said it was a lot of activity coming from inside the church so he came here try to find out what was going on and uh, he did go into the back entrance I didn't watch the whole video but you can clearly see it was this church because you, you can see him uh, walk through the front and then you can see him come through the front of the uh, you saw the front of the church which is, uh, hold on. You saw all that, and then you clearly see him walk down this path. He's, he's with another guy, there was two of them, you see? He came here with someone, and uh, he did go in through the back entrance up there. Um, if I can find that video, I will put it in the description, but uh, it may take me a while, because... Uh, you know, it took me a while to find it in the first place. It's only because I came across it after searching up uh, abandoned places in Bonnie Pool. But you can clearly see that, you know, he, he did come to this church. He did break in through, through the back. My hand it is... Okay. Hi, so guys, it's getting too cold out here today. Well, weather conditions are going completely crazy. Um, you know, my hand is absolutely freezing. If I continue filming like this, I'm going to get hypothermia. So I'm going to have to end this now, guys. I mean, my hand is pretty freezing. Um, I know today's investigation didn't go well, but sometimes, guys, you won't get what you want to find. Um, you will go to plenty of haunted locations, not get anything. I don't want to stand around outside that building, you know, because it was a... Uh, the reason I left there so quickly as well, because as, as I was standing there, there was a person in the window opposite, and they were staring at me. I thought maybe they might uh, bring the police on me or something to be in there. So I don't want to be be there for too long in case the police did, did show up and obviously ask me why I'm out of my camera. So, uh, there you guys, thank you for watching. Um, I know as I said just then, it could have been better but sometimes you just can't. Um, there will be an investigation coming up soon. Very haunted, uh, well, I don't know if it's haunted but I'm going to find out. It's a small little graveyard, I'm also going to find out and see if it is. Um, you know, it's going to be a lovely one. I might do it at night as well. It's only a small graveyard but it's a very old graveyard and it'd be good to uh, find out a little bit more about the location itself so thank you all for watching stay safe and uh give me some feedback oh, thank you